Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly E. Very happy St. Patrick's Day out there to everybody watching. Today is a collaboration video with my good friend Heather here on the YouTube, but in real life we are good friends. Um, We decided to do a St. Patrick's Day get ready with me, like just something fun, something together. Um, We haven't collabed in a couple months, I guess. So yeah, here we are. Uh, if you're excited, go ahead and stay tuned. We're going to get ready together. If this is your first time here, I want to say hi, hello. I'm so happy to have you here on my channel. If you wouldn't mind, smash the like button. Make sure that you are subscribed and your bells ring. To however you would like to see me pop up in a news feed. I'm highly caffeinated. I'm not drinking coffee like for the first time ever. I'm water bottle and that's all I have. I actually, I finished my coffee before I came down here. Um, I've been like cleaning and I don't know what this is, but th this is, this is happening today. So anyways, I want to say thank you so much to Heather and I, I love the idea of this video. I love grains and she loves grains and it was like, really easy to do this collaboration. But anyways, we've collabed a couple times. I'll leave all of our collabs down in the description box in case you're curious. If you are from my channel and you haven't checked Heather's channel out, which is weird because I talk about her all the time, go ahead and go over to her channel, show her some love, subscribe. You will not be sad that you did. So let's get you zoomed in and start putting makeup on the face. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Let me know, do you have any plans down in the description box? Um, well, <laughs> I guess you can't tell me in the description box now, can you? <laughs> but you can tell me in the comments. Let me know, do you do you do stuff for St. Patrick's Day? I'm not doing anything this year. We are on lockdown. Michigan shut down. I think most everybody is shutting down, which, um... I mean, that's, that's great. We, we need to be safe and everything like that, but I, my kids are really excited to have like three weeks of spring break instead of just the one. I, I am so excited to do a green look right now. Like I, this is just the, uh, elf putty. I, <laughs> I pulled out all of my green, um, anythings and I was swatching everything and I thought I knew what I like one for sure, I was like, I have to use this. Like I'm so anxious to use this, but when I swatched everything else, I decided to go a completely different route. So I'm not using what I thought I was going to, but we will use something. I've been cleaning and all that other stuff and it's time for a break, time for some makeup. I'm not sure how I feel about this foundation yet, which I should probably hurry my thoughts because it is middle of the month. Um, this is the, uh, the CoverGirl clean fresh, like the new one. I don't want to put it the other way because, uh, it is quite liquidy. But anyways, it does do like light coverage and I am self tanning. So you can see a difference. And while this looks like it matches perfectly with my skin, it definitely oxidizes. So <laughs> I have the shade light medium and I am very, very grateful that I do because it does oxidize to the perfect shade. So I'm going to look ghostly here for a hot minute, um, which is actually funny story why I'm tanning because I just feel very gray cast. I like sun deprived, like crazy at the moment. Um, so I have been self tanning. I took the stopper out of my concealer, so I am, I think, I've decided I'm really going to try to work through some concealers and not repurchase this. I know, this is, this is like my favorite. I've, it's since I took the stopper out, I actually have quite a bit um in here and I'm kind of excited because I get to use it again. Um, I've repurchased that one probably four or five times. I, I just, I love it. Um, I do, I do have mine in the shade light neutral in case you were wondering. Probably within the month, um, I will start tanning. I, I self tan. Um, I, I don't actually like for real tan, like outside in the, the, the sunshine tan. I, <laughs> I have so much Irish in me that, um, I just burn and then I peel and then I reburn. So I, do like to be outside, but I definitely live some sunscreen. I and I always have, so I do like color to my body. Though <laughs> I don't like to be ghostly, 
Um, actually, funny story. I decided it was time to self tan last year when I left my phone on the porch and my kids had gotten a hold of it and they they were taking pictures. And I was like, I don't remember wearing tube socks. And so like I zoom zoomed in and I was like, oh, those are bare legs. Those are not socks. And I was like, oh, I'm leaving the house. Like I have to go get tan. Like that was it. That was like the last straw we had. We had to fix that problem. So that's when I knew I had to start self tanning. I feel like I went way overboard on the the powder. I don't know. I don't feel like I have like the right everything with that foundation. I don't, I don't know. I, to be honest, I almost half thought the other day about taking it back. So there's that. Anyways, I am so excited to have tried this because I actually really do like it. Um, it's a little stiff. I will say that in case you're wondering, um, thoughts so far with this, it's okay. As far as I feel like I'm just kind of sloppily putting it on there. And I was thinking, cause I just recently did the, uh, my beauty empties last month. And <laughs> I was thinking to myself, wow, it's going to take some time to really build this back up. Cause I don't really go through things that fast, but, um, yeah, we're half full already. Like it was super crazy. And it's, I mean, it's only halfway through March and I don't know, I guess that it might be like in every other, every, every other day, every other month, um, a series that I might do. I realized when I was going through all of my, um, green that I'm definitely missing a, like a couple shades that I wish I had. I'm trying to limit how many I'm going in with, but whatever I'm using, I'm sure you could dupe within your collection. I'll try to describe it the best I can. <laughs> I'm horrible at describing colors, textures. Oh my goodness, but I will try. I'm so excited though. And I was really surprised when I wanted to take it one way, thinking I, I was going to take it one way and actually am taking it a completely different direction. So it, in that way, that aspect is really fun. Okay, first I'm going to go into my Golden Gatsby um, palette. I really, really like this one, but this one automatically I thought of because it's got um, this olivey green and I was like, oh, yes, yes, yes. So I'm first going to set my whole eye with this kind of white bone shade, uh, French 75. This one is white, white, and it has a little bit of like a, a pearly to it. I haven't used this palette in so long and I when Heather said like do you want to do like a, a green collab look and I was like oh yes yes I do I thought of this and then I thought of I have it sitting right here the I duo I duo by Doso Colors in the shade mermaid it's like a, a green but it's like a bluey green and yeah I just I decided I was gonna go some other direction okay on a fluffy brush I'm gonna take this mint julep shade and that is there's this is so pigmented <laughs> I meant to keep it a little bit lower but that's all right this is gonna be so fun my kids are so excited for St. Patrick's Day I mean we're gonna be stuck in the house now but I figured we would get all the green things that we have all together and Kind of make your own little fun party here at the house. I'm going to take kind of a pointed brush here and I'm going to take, do I want a highball? I think I'm going to take this like orangey brown right here, highball, and lower in the crease just to give us a little different hue in there. But with it being an earthy tone, it should match up really, really great. Okay, let's swatch these. I pulled a single shadow from the beauty crop called ah, Halcyon. Um, anyways, I obsessed with this green. 
I almost dumped my water. And then I also pulled the Flower Beauty, uh, the, the Warrior Glitter Shadows in Camo. Because when I seen it, these two together, I was like, oh, I have to have these. Okay, so I definitely want that one, I think, all over the lid. Okay. Do I want to just use, I think I'll just use my fingers since I've already got it totally dirty. So I'm going to leave like the very inner part of my eye open right there. I really love this shade. I was, I got this in an Ipsy, probably the bag, like the, the $12 bag. I don't get it anymore, but this is probably one of my favorite shadows. I'm trying to not cover the brown. I'm going to take that brush we did use for the brown and just kind of blend those together. I love, I love the peak of like the orangey brown right there. Like, ugh, it's one of my favorites. Okay. I want to take kind of a flat shadow brush, um, a very smaller, um, detail. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to run this really close to my lower lash line. Pretty much mirror, mirroring like the, from the top. And I think I'm going to smoke it out with that orange, that orangey brown. Once I put the the warrior down, like it's glitter and I don't want to like be messing with it. So I'm going to go back in with this one, the highball, just like on the tip of my brush here, the, the one I used in the crease. Anyways, and then I'm just going to blend the edge. Okay, now I'm going to take that Flower Beauty Warrior and just on the outside, I'm just going to dab some of this. And then it, wait, I, this is like a silicone brush. I'm just going to kind of move that around where I'd like it. Okay, I looked up to tell you how cool that looked and you were gone. <laughs> Anyways, I did pull a pigment. This is the NYX pigment in old Hollywood right here. Um, I am going to use a little bit of glue, just very strategically kind of placing the glue with the, with the brush. And then I will clean this off and also use this to apply the pigment. I really, really love this one because there's like a, a green gold pink shift. And I thought it would just be the coolest with all of these fun greens I have going on here. I used to really, really like go out and go all out for St. Patrick's Day before kids, but not too much anymore. I really, really think that's so pretty. I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of blend that together. Cause I don't want to leave you lose that center green. Let me swatch this pigment for you so you can see. Oh, I am absolutely horrible at swatching, but there's the pink and the green and the gold. I just, I think this is just, I need to leave this, I think, on my desk up here because it's so pretty. Okay, I, uh, <laughs> I smudged out the top line with the brown from this palette. And then I went in with the Catrice uh, Liquid Metal gel eye pencil in leaf the world behind it's kind of like a sparkly green and i added lashes i will have it all listed down below but let's finish off the face because i'm loving this but my face feels very one tone <laughs> oh my goodness i am in like the silliest mood we've been kind of dancing um I mean, everybody knows what's going on and the entire world seems to be like in massive panic. So I've been trying to keep the house kind of light and airy as far as like the mood with the kids um, and not scare them too much. So we've been just kind of having dance parties all day and I guess the silliness just hasn't stopped. <laughs> I still feel like so insanely silly. Oh, I feel like this bronzer is just too late for tanning. That's okay. It does build. So we will bronze, 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 bronze. 
Did I say I will have everything listed down in the comments? D description box. I, <laughs> you would think that I would get it right now, but um, no. <laughs> I'm still completely screwing it up <laughs> as far as like what it's called. I have no idea. But everything I use will be in the uh, description box in case you were curious. I do go pretty heavy with the bronzer on my neck just because um, I don't tan my face. Not that my tanner wouldn't tan my face. It would. It just um, because of all of the skincare and like the glycolic acids and like my um, AHA, BHA um, peels, it's, it's just going to peel off. So I just like go up to my neck, but then I bring my skincare down my neck. Does that make sense? So bronzer helps kind of meld the two together. In no particular order am I doing any of this. I am so crazy fans this video. I am so excited. Seriously, I I adore Heather. And I like was um, literally almost jumping up and down when she was like, Hey, do you want to do uh, like a green look for... Ow, open. For uh, St. Patrick's Day, I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. I have... I, I used to really, really enjoy just dressing up and being crazy when I was younger. So, yes, yes, I was so excited. I'm so excited with this blush. The green, I feel like, green looks, I feel like, across the board, it doesn't matter your complexion or, like, your eye color. I think it's so flattering. I, I love it. I love it. And personally, I like adding like the brown, like the transition um, between the two and then sparkles and mm, mm, it's just, oh, I'm obsessed with this blush as well. Just so you're aware. It's, it's so good. And I've been liking to warm my bronzer across my forehead. I know it's crazy. Probably should have grabbed a different highlighter. I feel like I want to go like crazy pants with, with a highlighter, but it's just what was in front of me, and I do re really, really like it, so. Because it's just, it's one of the pixie, it's actually a blush duo, but when you swirl it together and kind of just run it where, a little bit higher than where your blush is, it's really, really pretty. Oh, I think I'm going to finish off with that. That's, yes, we're, we are doing two, bro two, um, too. I can't think. I can't think right now. I am not pulling this guy because I, I am just in that kind of a mood that I just want. I want. I want glitter everywhere. So we have semi-natural, really pretty highlight, and I'm going to make it full of glitter. This is the only glitter highlight I've found so far that I can wear that doesn't like settle in all the lines, and it's just it, it is fun. It's it's fun. It's festive. Um. <laughs> No, it's not every day, but I do wear it out because sometimes you, you girl just needs a little glitter in her, in her life. I mean, really we do. I'm going to take a small brush and I'm actually going to take this on the inner corner just because it's party time. Oh, this is so fun. Just add more glitter. Oh, it's so pretty my entire face has glitter on it and I could not be happier right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. What to do for lips? Because this is crazy. I kind of want to, is it this one or do I just want to do a gloss? Actually, let's do just a gloss. Want just a very nude every day. I'm gonna use um this one. This is by um Ulta Beauty. This is like my lips, but better. So I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go over it with the Dose of Colors Moi. Uh, this is their Mickey Mouse collection. Love their lip glosses. Okay, this is the finished look that we kind of did create for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you guys had a lot of fun today. I hope you have a lot of fun on St. Patrick's Day. Be safe. And just have a fun smile and laugh and love and thank you thank you Heather so much for another a great collab I adore our friendship and just I adore having you in my life and I can't wait to see her get ready with me I went very very glittery um I love this gloss I, I really really do um I need to use it more but anyways 
this is my very festive very very happy kind of look and again thank you thank you so much if you are new here if you wouldn't mind please don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up button make sure your bell is ringing my bells are all being turned off like they turned off Heather's like bell like really no okay but anyways I hope to see you guys tomorrow bye